Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com, and we want to show you how not to cable a building. This is a disaster. This is the backboard they hung it on a wire. Um, all these wires and the way they identified them is, is unprofessional. Um, it's, it's just not the way you do it. They did not use a punch-down tool, so in some cases, you actually have little shorts in there, and I'm sure they couldn't figure out why that jack wasn't working. Um, and uh, it's not properly punched down. They didn't use the right material, the right parts. It should have a standoff bracket. But I'm sure that the owner uh, who originally contracted to have this building cabled thought he was getting such a great deal, uh, uh, which in reality turns out to be a disaster. Um, they're using flat cable, uh, telephone cable for their computer network. Um, it's just everything is, as you can see right here, you got a short. I don't know if you can see that on the videotape, but there, there's a short right there. Um, I'm sure they couldn't figure out why their network was so slow. They couldn't figure out why they were getting static on their telephone or uh, why people were calling in and getting uh, busies. That would actually cause a, a busy on your telephone line if someone called in. This is a complete disaster, um, as you can see. Uh, and then what we'll have to do and, uh, is redo it. Now, they have all these numbers here, and I bet you a lot of them weren't working correctly. And that's why we were called in to recable this building. So he has to pay for it twice. Once to have it done wrong, the second time to have it done right. It's a disaster. Here's another disaster over here. Just the way they put in, um, they have different types of cables. Some of these are Cat 3 which um, was great 10 years ago for your 10 base T networks, but no one, I don't believe, is using 10 base T these days. So the higher speed, this is higher speed cable. Um, I don't know if it's punched down right, uh, if they uh, pinned it out correctly. But this is all, all this cabling and the way it's, it's arranged is a disaster. Let's look in the other room. Again, I can't emphasize uh, enough uh, that we did not cable this. Uh, this is unprofessional. You never use 110 uh, equipment to turn lights on and off and to switch off your, your Linksys uh, switch and router and your DSL modem and of course your telephone lines. This is unprofessional at best and I don't know what the guy uh, was thinking when he cabled this but you do not use equipment like this on computers or telephone systems. This is very unprofessional, and we've been brought in to redo this, but very sloppy type of work, unprofessional. This person does not know what they're doing, whoever cabled this. Okay, I'm uh, taking the plate off, and it says DSL modem links to switch. This is not 110 they're switching here. Um, this is their uh, computer network uh, cable that they're actually switching on and off, not 110, but the computer network cable. Here's their telephone lines down here. Each of the telephone lines go into that. And uh, that's, uh, you know, and, and they complained we're having nothing but computer problems and telephone problems. Th this is unprofessional to use these as low voltage switches. Uh, they do not work. It does not work for you. It will not work for you. Um, and it's not the way to do it. So, um, but I'm sure they got a good deal on their cabling. Um, often you get what you pay for, or in some cases you get what you pay for. In this case, they got less than what they paid for. But I'll put it back on there. Tell the customer who's moving into the suite that they're going to have to be completely recabled. So, they were cutting the Cat Five, and running cable over here to switch? Yes, the switch um, one of the leads off of the Cat5. Well that's most likely why it didn't work because you gotta keep the twist as long as you can. Well the problem is is that it, in some cases it will you know if you do it wrong um, it will work but it will really slow down your network and so what happens here is um, you know they probably had a super slow network couldn't figure out why. Yeah, probably default. It couldn't do 100 megabits, so it probably defaulted back to 10. Uh, or uh, worse than that, it may have just been repeating and repeating the uh, the packets over and over again. You know, retransmitting them because of the poor cabling. Uh, 
what you need to do is, you never do this, but what you need to do is you need to put in the proper cable with the proper jacks and then it needs to be uh, tested with handheld uh, cable testers or certification equipment. You know, a professional cabler will always have handheld certification equipment that will test every parameter uh, of a wire and a jack to make sure that it will support the network speed that that you've paid for. So here you go. Very poorly designed system. But I thought I bet you thought that was cool if it just didn't work. Very well. Again, we did not cable this building, we're here to repair it. But first of all, th this is so sloppy, it's ridiculous. If you watched our videotape about how to cut holes in drywall and how to add a jack to a drywall, you would see where the mistake was. You can see where they cut up and down first, and then they realize uh, that there's a 2x4 there and they can't do that. So they just move the jack over. When you cut a hole in the drywall, you go horizontal first. So if you run into a 2x4, you can just turn around and move your jack over, and it's not going to show. And if you watch our video on the internet, you will see how that's done. This is really sloppy uh, work, and I'm not even sure that jack even works. Um, the next thing they did, as you can see, as I guess they gave up on putting a jack there, they didn't have an RJ45 jack, uh, Cat 5E or whatever they're having, so they decided they'll just pull cable and terminate it, uh, and then put this little doodad on there um, to make it look nice. It's so easy. It is extremely easy in this type of construction. Metal beams, drywall with no insulation to run a wire down uh, the wall and to do it professionally, label it professionally, test it, verify it. You're not going to have any problems with your network or telephone system when you do a clean, professional installation. And if you look at our other videos, we have uh, probably over 100 videos on how to install uh, voice and data cabling correctly in a building and use the right cable uh, for the right application. And uh, please visit our website, cablesupply.com and uh, you not only see the, the parts that we, we would be happy to sell you, professional, top quality parts for your voice and data network, but also you can watch our other videos that describe how to cable, and uh, this video is how not to cable. Again, it's www.cablesupply.com. Thank you.